name's Eric Padgett. I run Noise Noise Edge Stuff Records. My name is Taylor, and I am a event coordinator and DJ. My name is Vivian Hua. I'm a filmmaker and the executive director of Northwest Film Forum. Hey, this is Kevin Blankia slash K-Blank. What's up, y'all? It's Brandon, a.k.a. B from Earth. This is Josh. This is Natasha. From Some Surprises. And we're here to express our appreciation for Kame House and the scene that they've created. One of our favorite places to talk. My name's Avi. I'm an artist based in Seattle. Hello, my name is Charlize. I'm just here to talk about the impact that Kame House and places like Kame House have on the Seattle music community. Kame House provides a safe, creative space for people like myself to be able to put on shows and to express themselves. I believe in the work that they do and I'm really glad that they exist. They provide a platform and a space for a really wide range of people and art. Uh, there's a lot of venues with barriers around age or money or experience or like what your draw is, whereas Kame and Saturator are really accessible. Kame House provides an inclusive, diverse, and meaningful space for local Seattle artists is a staple in the local arts community here in Seattle. They've always given me a space to execute successful shows, regardless of the genre I was booking. They put in a lot of hard work for the art community, and they are one of the only groups providing a accessible space for creatives to book shows. Connie House has provided a very accessible and comforting and uplifting space for artists, both in Seattle and some that are passing through. I've hosted a Valentine's Day benefit show party there for the last three years. Um, it benefits Planned Parenthood and it's just been a really fun and exciting space. I've played music there, I've watched music there, uh, I've seen talk show tapings and screened a short film and had a potluck, and it's also the only place I've ever done a live puppet show. I've also had movie screenings and yoga workshops, and now their own like quarantine streaming channel. I'm currently working on a VHS live stream series with Saturator. for people like myself and other artists who are looking for new opportunities and are looking for a space to experiment and feel welcomed and encouraged and uplifted by a fellow community. It's a perfect space for that. Places like Kame House have been a real bastion of safety for artists and weirdos. <laughs> Even though it's a DIY space, it's still one of the most legit, accessible, and prolific spaces in the whole city. And it really elevates the music and art that comes through there. And we're really lucky to have them. Like, you need to sell tickets to have shows. Comedy House is like, bro, if you can play it, if you can hook it up, then we're good. If you got five friends, bring them. And I haven't been to a place before where it, you can be as genuine as that and not be judged. Someone will like whatever the fuck you do up there. That's really rare, bro. DIY spaces are a super crucial and critical part of our artistic ecosystem. Thank you to the folks at Kame and Saturator for all the great work they've done over the years and for all the support that they've shown for local musicians, artists, and event producers, and also just for showing how good a DIY space can be. On the subject of angels, I'd like to thank Saturator. This is our first ever in Seattle, so thanks so much. First of all, I'd like to thank Comedy House. Yeah! Comedy House! It's the Comedy House, too.